Situated on the St. Joseph River, we're in South Bend, Indiana, ready to bring you what should be an incredible football game. It's time to bundle up because it's going to be a chilly one for tonight's game between the USC Trojans and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And here comes the Fighting Irish. everybody, Brad Nessler here. With me as usual, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. They've been battling since 1926. And at stake today, the Jules Shillelagh, a Gaelic war club. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big plays. USC has been a little suspect at times this year against the run, and the challenge for them will be to slow down this running attack and this running back. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't think they have the personnel to do it. And i like to add one thing. Notre Dame is a team that makes big plays on both sides of the ball. Look for them to pick off some passes and then set up their offense with great field position. Kirk, these guys are ready to explode. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. And they're ready to kick this one away. He kicks it. Number 34 takes from the 10. Little shake and bake move. They'll set up shot at the 27-yard line. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Little handoff. He's got a lot of green. Three eighths in a row. And down he goes. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. Ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Jones will run it again, and he's taken down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40. The Irish come out of the power eye. Patterson brings him down. He picks up four yards on the carry. Third and six. Ball on their own 44. They come out with four wide out. Cody with a takedown. They try to play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got outpowered. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Fitzpatrick gets it off. Bush takes it to 15. And he got a few yards. He got more than a few. That was a good return. Good return and outstanding speed. He almost went all the way that time. They'll take over, They'll take over at the 34. Ace backfield. 
Here's a counter play. He's got a lot of green. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. And he will score. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me say one thing about that run. It takes one heck of a running back to be able to make a play like that, my friend. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through. And he hits the PAT. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, USC, seven. Notre Dame, nothing. Number 16, ready to kick. Number 19, and number 34, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 34, takes it from the six. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. USC lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. He steps up. He's in trouble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 15. USC lines up in a dime defense here. Looks over the middle. Finds his receiver, and down he goes. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Third and five. Ball on the 25. The Fighting Irish line up with two tight ends. They'll run the option. Laterals back. Got an opening. And he's taken down. A big, big game. You know I love the option play. You get the chance to keep it or pitch it. Here the quarterback pitches it to the tailback, and they get a great pickup and another first down. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Ball on the, 33 yards. the Trojans bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He's under two. And he's going to be sacked. Second and 13. This is the fifth play of this drive. Notre Dame comes out with two tight ends. Jones on the run, and down he goes. No gain. So another third down upcoming for the offense. USC brings in the nickel here. Schmidt back to throw under heavy pressure. And got him! And he's all the way down to the 28. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability.
First and ten. Ball on the 28. Power eye set. Schmidt will hand it off. And he's taken down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, USC 7, Notre Dame nothing. It's second down and eight to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Little handoff. Leach brings him down. About seven yards on that carry. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Notre Dame lines up in the power eye set. Patterson with a takedown at the 19-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Notre Dame lines up in a goal line set. Schmidt hands it off. And down he goes. And they get the first down. The give here to the fullback, and he gets enough for the first down. I like this call. Short yardage situation. Just give it to the big guy. It's first and ten, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. The Irish line up with three wide. They are going to pitch it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Looks like this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offenses. Nightmare. Lee, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past the 50, let alone find the end zone. And they get the sack. He grabbed a hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Well, he's able to slip right through a crack in the line and get a big sack. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. And it sails through the upright. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is a solid kicker. Number 13 looks ready to kick this one off. Smith and William set to return. Kicks it off. Smith fields at the goal line. Spins upfield. Gets that one. 
Looks to me as though the offensive line is ready to run the ball some more. And that defensive line better be ready because if they aren't, they'll be giving up another touchdown drive. Let's look at that one again. First and ten. Ball on the 32. They line up in an eye. On the ground with the tailback. He tries to spin, and he's taken down at the 47-yard line. What a run! Man, this kid can flat-out fly. A lot of kids are fast, but there's not many guys out there that can run as fast as this kid in pads holding on to the football. I agree with you, Lee, and he has such a natural running style. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number four comes to the line with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 48-yard line. Dennis is the single setback. He drops back. He's looking. And it's incomplete. Third and 11. Ball on the 48. Number four with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looking across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. How about that hit? Yo, that was a heck of a defensive play. He timed that thing perfectly. Number 19, back deep to return. Malone, back to front. Number 19. Gets it away. It's low. Number 26, fields it at the 9. He made some nice moves on that return. Yeah, but too many, Brad. Boy, he'd love to have another chance at that one. The field is wide open for a score. They'll go to work at the 26. Schmidt drops back on first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Found his man. He's all the way down to the 47. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Notre Dame going with the power eye. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. The Fighting Irish call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 43. Jones alone in the backfield. Foot hot! Foot hot! Foot! Foot hot! They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. The Fighting Irish are going to take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Irish come out showing three wide. Schmidt drops back. Steps up. Pressure coming. And he pulls it down. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. 
Well, he made the catch, but he didn't stay in bounds. Well, this one's on the quarterback. The quarterback needs to give him a little bit more room to work with on the sideline. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 29. USC brings in their nickel package. Smith back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. Incomplete. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Schmidt lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Number 13 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. The kick is up. And it hits the upright. No good. They'll set up shop at the 29-yard line. High formation here. Bush off the left side. He spins, and down he goes at the 29. Not a lot on that one. Second and 10. Ball on their own 29. USC comes to the line with three wide, and he's taken down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. USC is ranked near the bottom of the barrel as far as offense goes. Well, the numbers don't lie. They just can't move the ball. Drops back to pass. Going deep on the left side. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, USC 7, Notre Dame 3. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. We should have a return on this one. It sails out of bounds, and that'll be a penalty. Here's the call from the referee. The legal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the Well, if you're the return line, team, you got to like that one. Yeah, because you get great field position and nobody has to get hit. First and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Cut. Cut. On the ground with the tailback. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 33. Cut. USC lines up with a split backfield. He's under some heat. It's dropped. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 33. The Irish bring in their dime package. It's a bad snap. Looks across the middle. Into traffic and it's picked off. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. Set. Cut. Great one. And down he goes. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there.
First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. USC lines up in a dime defense here. Hand off to the fullback. And he's taken down. They pick up a good six yards there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up under heavy pressure. Patterson tackles him for a loss on the play. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball in the 28. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Schmidt steps back to pass. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Number 13 lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. It's up. And he got it. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Number 13 is lined up to kick this one off. Smith and Williams keep to return. Smith fields it at the three. At the 30. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or do they let her rip? Right. Start this drive at the 36-yard line. First and ten. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Fires across the middle. His receiver has it. Jackson brings him down. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. Second and less than a yard. Ball on their own 46. Dennis lines up as a single back. Here's a draw. And down he goes at the 47. And the halfback draw gets him the first. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. USC comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. And it's caught. And now he's got room to run. Inside the 30. Down the sideline. Great pass play. This guy comes up with a great catch here. He's got good hands. And when he's on, there's no one in America that can catch him. Coach, tell me about this one. The quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball to the open guy then that kid shows you right there what he can do after he has the football. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17. USC lines up with three receivers. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. And it falls incomplete. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. USC lines up in a bunch formation. Handoff. And he's taken down. They get about five yards from the halfback. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 12. Bush is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They hand it off. And down he goes at the eight. And that's not going to be enough to move the chain. Nope. And here's why. Good defensive awareness. They did a great job of recognizing the run early and reacting to the ball carrier. 
Either the coach has no faith in his kicker or a lot of faith in his offense. Look at the power. That was a great carry by the fullback. Rarely do you see a fullback run the football like that. I know, usually fullbacks run straight up and down the field. This guy's more agile than I thought he was. He's a player. And he tacks on the extra point. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, USC 14, Notre Dame 6. Number 16 looks ready to kick this one off. Number 19 and number 34 back ready to return. Number 34 takes it at the eight. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll get the ball here at the 19. One man backfield. They hand it off. And he's taken down. Couldn't get anything out of that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19. USC brings in their nickel package. And down he goes. A pickup of four on the play. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 23. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And he's taken down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, USC 14, Notre Dame 6. Fourth and six, ball on the 23-yard line. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Fitzpatrick gets it off. Bush takes it at the 45. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. They'll go to work at the 50-yard line. The Trojans line up in an I formation. Play action. He's rolling right. He's looking. He's right there for the interception. A little juke. Set up shot at the 48. High formation here. Jones on the run, and down he goes. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down and eight to go. 
Ball on the 50. They'll line up in the power eye. On the ground, up the middle. And he's taken down. That's a three-yard pickup. Third and five. Ball on the 47. They line up in an eye. Jones runs a counter. Leach with a takedown. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Easy decision. You gotta go for it here. Got it to his receiver. To the 20. Kirk, what do you have for us? And that catch put the receiver over 100 yards. He's been one of the quarterback's favorite targets all game long. They line up in a double tight set. Schmidt drops to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Go into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. Let's take another look at that touchdown strike. The defense seems a little confused on this play. They're not sure who to cover. Before they know it, the play's over. Six. Well, if they want to tie this thing up, they need to convert right here. Jones gets the call again. They don't get it. I don't agree with that call, Kirk. Here's a situation where you need a two-point conversion, and you call a simple run play. He should have let the quarterback roll out of the pocket. That way, he can either run it in himself or dump it to somebody in the end zone. Yeah, I'm with you, Lee. I'm disappointed with that call. That really shows a lack of creativity by the old ball coach. Williams takes it at the four. Tries to juke. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? Number four with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Hillier brings him down at the 32. Six-yard pickup. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 32. USC goes with the ace set here. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Dead ball. Delay of game. And that penalty is going to push him back. Yeah, an offense can't be productive when they're making mistakes like that. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Dennis gets another carry. And down he goes. Gain of two. They're down in seven. Ball in the 29. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 34 fields it at the 24. A good return. Right. 
They'll start this drive at the 42. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Steps up. He's in trouble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Schmidt drops back to pass. He steps up. Looking. They'll make the sack. situation here on third and long ball on the 30 Wilson lines up as a single back back to pass steps up in the pocket and they couldn't hook up on that one and a great job that time on defense good job here but let me tell you something that wide out was left out to dry that time Woo. here are today's red zone players of the game which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The Irish line up with three wide. Schmidt back to throw. Got hit as he threw. Loose football. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. Down goes the quarterback. Now they've got seven sacks. Man, are they fast. Once the quarterback hikes the ball, they're already in there. USC sets up in the eye. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. The Fighting Irish call for a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Dennis on the inside handoff. Watson with a takedown. Notre Dame calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Third and four. Ball on the 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. Notre Dame brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. Looks. It falls incomplete. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the upright. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number 34 fields it at the nine. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll take over at the 20. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Schmidt back to pass. Steps up. Down the middle. Incomplete. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Schmidt comes to the line with three wide. Schmidt drops back. He steps up. Pressure coming. And that one's fallen incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 20. 
The Trojans line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. And he stops the clock with a spike. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. USC brings in their nickel package, steps up under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. They're really having a tough time slowing down this pass rush. This guy's all over the quarterback on every play. How many sacks is that? Three? Seems like 10 or 15 to me. Schmidt sets to go to the air. He's looking. He has some room. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Notre Dame takes a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Schmidt drops to throw. He steps up. Here comes the pressure. And this one's going to get intercepted. He's got some blockers. To the 20. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Here it is again. And he hits the PAT. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? USC comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Folks, thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, USC 24, Notre Dame 12. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.